Stephanie Ayers here for TeachMid.com. Today we're going old school with long division, but with a twist. Let's take a look at this division problem. Before we do, let's review some vocabulary that your students might be bringing home. The number on the outside here is called the divisor. This is the one that tells how many groups we're going to divide it into. So this one here is like saying, I'm dividing this into four different groups. The number that's uh, here is the, uh, it's called the dividend, and that's how many things will be divided into four different groups. The answer that we're going to get is called the quotient when you're doing a division problem. So we're going to start the way that we are used to thinking about it. So we would say 4 goes into 6 one time. Well, actually, that's not what happens when you're thinking about the divisor as being four groups. What's actually happened is you're saying that you have six hundreds. So let's take a look at this first, as uh, we would if we were looking at place value. We would say that there are six hundreds, four tens, and eight ones. If you want to think about it as money, sometimes it makes it a little easier. We have eight pennies, four dimes, and six dollars. It takes ten pennies to make one dime. It takes ten dimes to make one dollar. And so our whole system is, is a base ten system, uh, which is um, you know, where we get all of the borrowing and carrying and all the stuff that we do. So let's go on with this problem. So we would say I have six hundreds and I would like to know how many I can put into each of these groups. So I would start over here and say, okay, well I can put one, two, three, four. I can at least use four of the six. So one goes into each of these groups. So I would say one going into each of the four groups. That's four of the hundreds I was able to use. I had two left over. Now these, let's pretend these are dollar bills now, I'm going to break them into dimes because I can't use them as dollar bills anymore. They wouldn't equally go into each group. So then I'm going to bring the rest of my tens down. So we would say I have 24 tens or 24 dimes now. And so I've got to figure out how many of these will go into these four groups. And so we would say six. Six times four is 24. When I subtract, I have zero tens left. So the next place value is my ones. I'm going to bring that one down. I had eight ones left to put into these four groups. I'm going to say, oh, if I put two in each group, which is why it goes over the ones column, two ones in, e or two ones in each group, I've used eight of my ones. When I subtract, I get zero, and so I don't have a remainder on this particular problem. The difference between the way we learned it and the way your students are learning it is that they're learning it with place value and really learning that this is four groups and I need to figure out how many I can put into each one of these groups. It's a little bit different than the way we learned, um, but it really makes more sense to your students with the way that they're learning how to do division. It's a great natural step for them to understand division. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video today. Please don't forget to subscribe because more great videos are on the way. If you've got a question or concern about your child's homework that you'd like me to address in a video, you can email me at steph at teachvid.com. Thank you.